how do you decide that when you can rep somebody else Sir, or two? Well, there's got to be certain situations in the game where you feel like, you know, either it's the, you know, the guy's nicked up, he's tired, we just went on a, a long drive, sudden change, something really that don't. will force your hand into doing it. If it's the normal flow of the game, I think, you know, they've handled it well. <clears throat> Joe asked Dean of this the same thing. Uh, he and you two, I think, special teams warriors here have made it a point to try to accentuate everything good that has happened with Lambert and a lot of different things and say that the problems that you've had have been these eye opening things. Coach Dawson, that Coach Cross. Yet they continue to happen. Is your view of your special teams changed at all over the Well, year? the one thing about special teams, as you know, it's one playing out. It's You don't get a second down, so you can't wipe out that mistake with a with another big play we've had. You know, we in the last two years, we've been first or second in the Big 12 in either punt, punt, uh, punt kickoff, return, or kickoff. Uh, we struggle with punt return. We've got to find a punt returner to make good decisions. Um, like I said, last year we led the league in punt. It was the same deal. What happened the other night was unfortunate. It, it was a kick that shouldn't have been placed in that area of the field. And it was glaring. It was it was so glaring, um, I think everybody saw it. But, you know, you got to accentuate the positive and you work on the, uh, on the deficiencies throughout the week. But, you know, we've done some good things. We turned a couple kicks. We're leading the league in kickoff return. You know, we were getting right back to the middle of the pack or even higher prior to the, uh, the Kansas State game in our net punting. And then, you know, we take a hit. So uh, it's glaring. But, you know, we have room to improve, obviously.